Okay, welcome to module four on the pivot mechanics. Um, this is going to be, I think, personally, one of my favorite modules to do the video instruction on, about, um, because I'm a strong believer that the pivot, in terms of the mechanics of the golf swing, all the mechanic, mechanical pieces of the puzzle, uh, the pivot circuit or the pivot system is the most important of the three. Far and away, the most important job of your lower body, which are your hips, knees, legs, feet, ankles, is to provide a stability platform from which your upper body, your belly muscles, your core, and your upper torso, shoulder girdle especially, can rotate, can spin in a vortex shape, right, like a tornado, fast. In terms of the sway, in terms of lateral hip motion, the model is none, just a centered hip rotation. A little bit to the right is okay, no more than a couple inches. And even a little bit to the left is okay. So what happens here is, right now your left knee flex is about what it was at the start of the swing. But now part of your lower body pivot, which is your hips rotating to the left in a spiral shape to your left, is the straightening of your left knee. You want your left knee to be fully straight or nearly fully straight at the finish. So from this point, it gradually and increasingly straightens. Positive impact, Joe. We want it to have about half as much flex at impact that you started with. Basically, you, you engage your core muscles to trigger your takeaway with your pivot motion by firing your oblique abs, those muscles deep in lower in your lower spine, and fire those muscles in a little circular spiral shape motion to your right to trigger your takeaway. Sort of like the wraparound drill where you hug yourself, so arms kind of down about belly height and squeeze your arms toward each other and toward your belly which helps activate your core. You're going to use where the bottom of your sternum is right about there as a checkpoint. Uh, at that point in space is more or less where the tip of your left shoulder should be at the top of the back swing. So you're going to take, you're going to take this part of your body here and as you rotate, you want to be down here where your sternum is, just like Dan did there perfectly. You know, let's talk a little bit about what I consider to be the second most difficult concept to clearly and, and accurately understand in the golf swing, close second, right behind the arm swing illusion. It's what I call the tilt illusion. This section, tilt 2A two, two is tilt switch, 2B is from here to here, and then 2C is from here. To here. I call that the key move, and that's a really important part of the golf swing. We covered a little bit on this, some aspects of this in module, in the, in the first part of module three on advanced arm mechanics. You want to put both butt cheeks about one to two inches away from a wall. And I'll put my club here to represent the wall, right? In fact, drop the club, Joe, just put the, this through the crisscross drill. Now, what happens on the swing, again, as you, as you rotate your core and your chest, your hips will start to be pulled around, your hips will start to rotate. Go ahead and rotate, and your stop right there, and your left butt cheek should and will get further away from the wall, to the point where, if you do it properly, get a little bit more rotation. Yeah, your your right butt cheek will will kind of bump up against the wall. If you, if you, pivot thrust simply means a couple of things. It means that you're delivering the club head to the back of the ball, with a rotational motion in three-dimensional space, sort of a vortex or a tornado or spiral-shaped motion. Your shoulder girdle is unwinding in space like so, and I'll do it from several angles so you can see what I'm talking about. From the halfway down position, it's uncoiling, and that rapid uncoiling, think of the airplane uh, propeller analogy we've used in module one, creates miles per hour speed along with something else we're going to cover in the next module, module five, on, on, the, on the wrist action and the release, stage two release. But the release that we teach is indeed two stages. Stage one is pivot thrust, which is a rapid uncoiling from the ground up of your hip rotation, turning to the left rapidly, your core, your belly, your belly muscles fire and rotate in a spiral shape, you know, rotary motion to the left, followed by your upper torso shoulder girdle. So the